Oh god, this guy actually <laughs> dropped his Steam Deck in the bathroom. <laughs> Let's get into it. Welcome back guys to another Steam Deck related video. Now if I, if I sound a little bit different, it's because I have a new microphone as you can see. Um, but before we get into it, please smash the like button, it really helps out. Before we do anything else, smash the like, please, if you could. Um, take a second. Um, and also subscribe, click the bell icon if you want to see more Steam Deck and tech content. Um, anyways, so, what would you do if the Steam Deck fell into your bathtub? You were just laying there, chilling back in the bath, playing Cyberpunk 2077, or The Witcher, or whatever game you want. And all of a sudden, oh, bubble, bubble, bubble. <laughs> It's underwater. What do you do? Well, you get your ass out of the bath. You don't you don't curl up and cry yourself to sleep. You get yourself out of the bath. And what we're about to look at is a guy who did just that, pretty much. And um, this is how you went about fixing it, or cleaning it. Um... And it's surviving, okay? Now it's it's I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not an easy process, but if you really do want to save your Steam Deck and you do happen to drop it in the water, then this might be a good um way to do it. And also I'm gonna share some tips and we're gonna look at some comments as well. This comes from Reddit, so credit to Mr. Smallmouth Bacchus <laughs> who posted this video. So let's get into it. So drop the death in a bathtub and cleaned every single part in 99 point well 99% alcohol and survived now if you're wondering where do I buy 99% alcohol you can buy it from like Target um, CVS stuff like that I think they sell isopropyl alcohol and um, that's how you want to do it you all although if you're a heavy drinker and you drink something like Everclear that's also very high in alcohol you could potentially do that too um, but this is how we did it in a little time lapse and how we did it so without further ado Let's take a look at this little video. So, and we'll look at the comments afterwards. So, um, this is a time lapse of him literally taking the Steam Deck apart and cleaning every single part. So, he takes the parts out, basically gives them an isopropyl alcohol bath. This is a lot of work, guys. So. You do have to have some sort of, like, you know... Oh, look, he's got it working again. So the reason why this is important, guys, is because water, even though it's just water, all right, it does corrode stuff. Now, I don't think the water itself is what kills a lot of electronics. Um, it's the fact that the water, water has stuff like calcium and a lot of different little chemicals inside, and if you leave that water to dry on a circuit board, it will erode some of the little contacts, the conductive compact. Con contacts on the circuit board and over time you know it might work you might let it out to dry shove it in a bag of rice and then let it dry and then you might turn it on and be like oh it still works but the corrosion is there and it's going to get worse and worse over time till you're left with a device that just doesn't work at all right um and at that point it's maybe at the beyond the point of no return right so um so the reason why this guy's doing this is because if you use isopropyl alcohol um it basically, it's non-conductive, so basically, it you put it on, it it eats away all the little extra chemicals and the debris, the grime, eats it away, evaporates, and then you're left with, well, a very clean, non-corroded, <laughs> non-corrosive board, um, and that's what this guy basically does, and now it's a long process, you just saw the time lapse, that was speeded up quite a bit, and you obviously have to have some sort of know-how as to how to take these things apart because there's a lot of small delicate parts you want to you want to take apart now let's um you know you, there is a risk to damage in it of course but i mean less risk than there's less risk to breaking it with this than there is to just let it let it dry out normally and just hope it works for years to come so um let's look at the comments so um someone says i'd probably be suppressing a panic attack the whole time I was putting it back together. The dread of hitting the power button and determining its fate. I know. Um, he says it was a scary moment for sure and it felt like an eternity. From button press to display coming on. But when that logo showed up, I was ecstatic. Um, dear God, FFS. <laughs> Stop playing Hoonie Pop in the bathroom. Um, it was on when it fell in. It was completely soaked inside. Just a huge shout out to the Valve engineers for, for what I expect is good circuit design. Can't believe it survived. 
Um, and apparently it looks like some other people dropped theirs in the bathtub too. So even though it says in the box, guys, you can play it in the bathtub, I highly don't recommend it because this accident's to happen. And look at this guy. It happened to him. Um, so someone says, as a professional electronics technician, the only thing I would recommend is to wear gloves. The oils in your hands can sometimes cause shorts between very sensitive parts. So yeah, you always want to keep your hands very clean when you're taking apart stuff like this, touching circuit boards, because there are loads of oils in your hands that can obviously corrode or, you know, short things. Um... um do -do -do. And there was a comment here that I thought was really interesting. Um... Let me see if I can find it really fast. Hold on. So there's a guy here that also says, um, I took it down to the, well, the OP said, the original poster said he took it down to the last screw and thoroughly washed the 99% alcohol and component, and component cleaner that I recently bought to fix my joystick drift. It might end up dying, but I feel pretty good about it in associate. Okay, so here's an interesting comment here um, from someone called Dazed Mikey. He says, um, this is how you repair water damage. Bag of rice does nothing but get food inside your device. Very true. All right, so don't use the tip. Shove it in a bag of rice, it'll be fine. Um, you want to power it off, number one. Disassemble it. Clean thoroughly with isopropyl alcohol. A toothbrush can help with this if there's corrosion already. So the toothbrush helps you get rid of the corrosion. Um, let it dry thoroughly and use compressed air to push liquid out from under the surface mount components if you have it handy. So always have compressed air, um, isopropyl alcohol, and... Um, a good old toothbrush and then reassemble and test functionality once completely dry um so yeah there's a lot of really good a lot of really good um tips and advice in this video um on how to basically save your devices from corrosion and water damage and i really recommend you go check them out um i'll put a link to this in the video description so you can check it out yourself but i have a question for you have you ever played your steam deck in the bath <laughs> Let me know in the comments, and please, as I've said before, please consider clicking that little like button down below. It takes a second to do it, but it makes a massive difference. And subscribe and click the bell icon for more Steam Deck content, um, of which I will be posting more. You can bet on it. And I'll see you guys in the, in the next video. Have an amazing weekend. I love you and I appreciate you. Blaze2K signing off. Um, be careful in that bathtub, alright?